Way back in 2006, Pixar Animation Studios released a little film about a race car superstar who wound up in a small town called Radiator Springs. While not quite the most iconic films compared to Pixar's other masterpieces such as Toy Story and Finding Nemo, it did become a big hit not only by how it did amazing at the box office, but also a major hit when it came to the merchandising. Even my two-year-old nephew was covered with clothes and shoes with lightning and maters printed all over them. Also, when Disney developed the Cars Land at Disney's California Adventure, they came across a real winner with the Radiator Springs Racers, a ride that's definitely worth queuing for. However, when it came to the 2011 sequel and the plain spin-off films a few years later, it somehow proved that even Pixar can't always be perfect. Though to be fair, the Planes films were actually produced by Disney Toon Studios. But anyways, after the critical disappointment of Cars 2, most people were pretty skeptical about the announcement of Pixar making Cars 3. That is until the first teaser got released and... Yes, uh, well... <clears throat> This further proves that this is not going to be like their previous installments. The story of Lightning McQueen being overshadowed by a new kind of racer by the name of Jackson Storm shows a much more dramatic angle compared to the first two films. How this Lightning McQueen, a superstar of his generation, now living in an age where simulations and new gadgets are the future of racing, and fearing that he'll be nothing more than a cash cow of product endorsements. Hmm, does sound kind of muddy when you think about it. Thank you. No, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, Jackson Storm, right? Great race today. Wow, thank you, Mr. McQueen. You have no idea what a pleasure it is for me to finally beat you. Ah, oh, thanks. Wait, <laughs> hang on, did you say meet or beat? I think you heard me. Uh, what? McQueen, Storm! Here? Can we get some pictures? Yeah, yeah, come on, let's get a picture. You know what? Get a ton of pictures, because Champ here has been a role model of mine for years now. And I mean a lot of years, right? I love this guy. But thankfully, this movie doesn't become very depressing. Lightning still has hopes, thanks to a new trainer by the name of Cruz Ramirez. And funny enough, though, there were even moments where Lightning actually teaches her some facts about racing that he learned from his old mentor, Doc Hudson, complete with unused recordings by the late great Paul Newman. And of course, this being a Pixar film, the animators have done a lot of effort and details of bringing this Cars universe to life. My personal favorite being when Lightning and Cruz wound up in a monster truck rally. If you have ever been a fan of the first two car films, or at least the first one. I say Cars 3 is worth going out to see this school holidays. Granted, it's not on the same levels of greatness like the Toy Story trilogy or the Finding Nemo films, but it's movies like this further proves that Pixar has learned their mistakes when it comes to doing a new chapter to their franchises. Also, don't forget to check out the short before the film called Lou, about a clutter of things from a lost and found box teaching a young school bully a lesson. It's a movie that's worthy enough to be owned on Blu-ray or digital, after watching it in theaters. <laughs>